Hi everyone. First of all, happy Ganesh Chaturthi to everybody and my warm greetings to everyone. And thank you for liking and sharing my videos. And once again, I request you all if you like my video, please like and subscribe and share my video. So the topic for the discussion today is tables in HTML and this video is related to class 10th computer application syllabus. The code is 165 and it may be relatable to other classes also for computer applications. So first question arise that what is tables? What are the tables? You can say that if you are representing any data in the form of paragraph it is not easy to understand it but if you represent the data in the form of tables that means in rows and columns it is more easy to understand and it is uh, or in an organized manner so we can create the table layouts or we can create the page layouts so sometimes it is very necessary to represent the data in a tabular format so that it can be easily understood so in tables we have rows and columns and the intersection of row and column is known as a cell. So whatever data we write down in the table it is written inside the cells. So let's start with this. Now as everybody knows that the um, code which we create in HTML that is created in notepad. So first I'm going to explain you the tags which, are, which we are going to use to create a table. Now first tag which we use to create a table is table. Now it is a container tag that means we have to close this tag with a slash. Inside that we use some tags. One is a caption tag which is used to give the headings to the table. If you want to give any heading like a, a student table. So we can give inside the caption tag and it is a container tag so we need to close this tag. After that in this we have a tr tag. Tr tag is for creating a row. As you know in a table we have lots of rows. So for creating a single row we need one tr tag and it is also a container tag. So we need to close this tag. Now inside the tr tag we may have some uh, headings. Now heading for that we use the th tag table heading. It is also a container tag so we need to close this tag also. Whatever data you are going to write down in the th tag that will be bolder than the td tag. So once again we have a td tag. Td tag is used for representing the table data which is inside the cell. Now these two are just behaving similarly th tag and the td tag but the difference is that whatever you write inside the th tag that will be bold it will look like a heading so these are basically the tags which we are going to create a table so you must remember all these tags you must know the importance of all these tags they may also come in a theory questions like the difference between the th td uh, why do we use the tr tag what is the use of caption tag uh, why do we use the table tag? So all these questions can come in your theory part also. And this is your practical part. So now we have lots of, uh, you can say we have many attributes of the table tag also. But uh, we are, I am going to explain you those attributes afterwards when I'm, I will create a small table so that you can understand it easily. So let's start. Now as you all know, that the code always starts with a HTML tag. So we'll write down HTML after that head inside the head we have a title tag In title we can use uh, tables in HTML then it is a container tag so we need to close this tag sorry title then after that we need to close the head tag after that body tag is going to be open inside the body tag we will write down the table tag in the table tag we have to write down the th tag 
or we can also write down the caption so first we will take a td tag uh, td or th okay th in this i'm writing student name th is a container tag so we need to close this after that again i'm giving another heading and that is marks so we need to close this then we can give father name th close okay before this we need to create a row that is tr and after this these three headings we are just closing the tr tag now we will close the table tag because it is a container tag and at the last we have to close the html tag so we are going to just save it you all know that how to save a file in html extension should be dot html or it can be uh, it can be dot uh, htm so here am i writing uh, tables demo dot html so our file is saved let's see our file so here you can see file is created we are just running the file and you can see you have all three headings that is student name marks and father name okay so if i want to give any border in this inside the table tag we have to write down the border and we can give the value for that too because i want a border and this border is attribute of the table tag so control s see this is how your table is created now we have created a single row now we want to insert the values inside this so i have to create again a new tr tag that means a new row in which i am going to give the data so for giving the data the tag which we can use is td now suppose the student name is arnav we are just closing the td tag now in the marks i want to give 70 we will close it and at the last we will give father name like uh, ram kumar so we can close this and at the last we have to close the tr tag so now we have created two rows so let's refresh the page you can see now we have the data inside the table that is arna 70 and ram kumar okay this is how we create the table now again i'm giving one more data because so that we can easily understand all the things so i'm just copying it i'll change the values inside that uh here i'm writing ritika suppose the marks are 60 आदित्य शर्मा कंट्रोल एस नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड थ्री रोज सो हेयर आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टोर्ड हाउ वी कैन गिव द टेबल हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ टेबल हाउ वी कैन गिव द हेडिंग्स हाउ वी कैन गिव द डेटा नाउ अनादर थिंग इज द यूज ऑफ कैप्शन टैग सो कैप्शन टैग इज यूज टू गिव द हेडिंग्स टू द टेबल सो दैट कैन बी यूज इन साइड द टेबल टैग इन दिस आई एम राइटिंग caption tables in html so this is also a container tag we need to close this tag control s and let's the let's refresh the page so you can see we have the caption if you want to make it bold you can make it you can use the bold tag in uh, before this so we have to close the bold tag also let's refresh 
Okay, it's not coming. Hmm. For that, you can use the font tag also before caption and after caption. Now, uh, we should understand the attributes which can be used with the table tag. So, I'm going to explain you six attributes of table tag. One is border, cell padding, cell spacing, height, width and VG color. So, border you have seen, we have used here. Now, all the attributes of the table, table tag will be used inside the table tag only. So, after border, if I'm using height, height means what height I want to give for my table. Suppose I want to give uh, 20 pixel or... Um, then I want to give the width of my table that I can give in percentage also 20 percent then uh, I want to give a BG color BG color means the background color of my table so that can be cyan after that uh, we have a attribute cell padding and cell spacing so I'm giving it, giving it in another line that is cell padding is equals to 2 and cell spacing is equals to 3 now control s now why do we use the cell padding and cell spacing i hope you all understood why do we use the border why do we use height width and bg color but the cell padding and the cell spacing is a new concept so let's understand that see the attribute cell padding is used to specify the space between the grid lines which we have in the table in the cells and the content in the cell so you can understand here see this is your table and can you see the white spaces around the data and between the cell borders so this is known as a cell padding so you can increase the uh, size of the cell padding you can increase the spaces and what is cell spacing cell spacing is the space between the cells so suppose you have this nine cells in this table and you want to give spacing in between this area so you can use cell spacing so i have used here already i have used the cell spacing and the cell padding now let's refresh the page and see the use of that so here you can see our bg color is applied our height and our width is applied in this and uh, cell padding and cell spacing i hope you have not understood because we need to increase the size so uh, I'm giving height also I'm increasing 100 and width I'm increasing 50 percent cell padding I'm increasing 10 and cell spacing also 10 control this I hope you will understand it better now you can see what is cell spacing and cell padding height and width is also increased of the table so this is how we can give the spacing between the grid and the cell and between two cells okay so cell spacing it uh, is the space between cells it can be decreased or it can be increased so these are all the attributes of table tag so understand these border height width bg color cell padding cell spacing now we are coming to the concept of call span and row span um, but before that I want to uh, tell you uh, we have alignments in table like you can see in this table we have data aligned towards left side so by default whenever you uh, enter some data in the table it will be always left aligned you can see these values and this is th so that's why it's coming in the center because it is behaving like a heading so by default it will always be in the left side and uh, vertically it will always be in the bottom but we have three types of alignments uh, see one is align and one is v align v align is for vertical alignment and align is for horizontal alignment so in horizontal alignment we have left center and right and in vertical alignment we have top middle and bottom so let's see now this is this we can also apply in your uh, td tag or th tag suppose this heading i want in the right hand side so i can write down align is equals to right let's see you can see all the headings move towards the 
right hand side because of the align attribute it can be also applied in the tr tag it can be applied in th it can be applied in td you can apply it anywhere and even in the table you can apply it like here you can write down align is equals to center control s now our table has moved in the center so we can also apply the v align v align is for aligning the data uh, vertically let's see uh, suppose here i write down v align and then in v align we can write down either top bottom or we can write down uh, middle let's start so this is again in center but our columns our cells are not in uh, height not height wise so that's why it's not uh, visible to you but otherwise the data is aligned towards the bottom or bottom uh, sorry we have written in the middle now next thing is call span and row, row span sometimes you might have seen that in any table some rows or some columns are merged we need to write some data in an expanded form so for that we need the spanning of columns and rows now the columns and rows of a table can be spanned by call span or row span attributes now these uh, attributes are used inside the td tag or the th tag you can only use these attributes with the td tag or th tag i'm just uh, focusing on that so that you should remember it now in row span what happens in call span and row span uh, in row span it merge specified number of rows in one cell and in call span it is used to merge the specified number of columns in one cell so let's see suppose i want to merge okay let's take an example of this table in this we have student name marks and the father name if suppose in marks i want the marks of theory also and practical also so i can use that i can insert another row here in which i can write down again the name sorry first we will use the th tag again uh, or you can say first name close this then another heading is uh, i want to give uh, theory then th close then again th and i want to give the practical marks for that we have to close this th and last we have the father name again so we can say the last name now this uh, another row we have inserted here so that we can use make the use of call span and row span let's see see now you have three columns here three columns here uh, but you have four rows so last name i think we don't need it so we can remove it control s fine now theory and practical okay that's why because i want to give the theory and practical in the center so let's use that okay so i hope i should take another table for this because we are not able to adjust the columns so i'm taking a new table again i'll just make the structure and then show you okay so now i have created a new example for the row span and call span this is a structure in which i have created the similar type of structure so i'll show you this is my row span and call span structure now this is a table because uh, till now we don't have any rows and columns now i'm um, i have to insert a row after that we need to give uh, an eth tag and the heading should be marks 
we'll close it after that i want to merge two cells in a row so for that or we can say two columns we need to merge two columns so we have to use the call span attribute and this we have to merge two columns so we will use two and this i want to write down suppose the heading of the uh, subject that is science i need to close it and then we will close this tr tag actually i have not used the caption also in this we can use a caption tag um row span and uh, call span example so i need to close the caption tag now control s let's see here you have two cells that is marks and signs okay now under the signs we need two things that is practical and theory so again we need to write down the tr tag inside that we will write down the th tag or again you can use a th tag and this you can write down the name slash th then i want theory so in again th we can write down the theory th close th and i want practical th close and at the last tr close so control s let's see so this is how you can see we have created two rows and three columns you have three columns one two and three and here you have merged two columns so that's why we have used call span is equal to 2 here so i told you earlier also call span can be used inside the th and td tag it cannot be used inside the tr tag or the table tag okay now if i want to merge two rows so for that we can take an another example tr t uh, now i'm taking td td uh, suppose the value of the name is Mm, aman close td now for theory marks i am writing down td um, 89 close td tag for practical 20 mm, or 19 you can write down td close so here after this i need to close the tr tag let's check so now our data is also inserted okay i'm inserting one more data to show you the example of row span and this we can write down rt we can change the marks 79 29 control s and here you can see another row has been inserted if i want to merge the marks of uh, i want to merge the name aman and arti i want that in a single cell so what i have to do you can see here these are two rows aman and arti two rows i want to merge this aman arti so what i can do in here i can write down row span is equals to 2 now we have written row span is equal to 2 and aman i don't need arti now so i have to delete this heading we will save it and refresh the file so here you can see now arti has been deleted and only aman is there in the single cell and you can easily understand what is the use of we align so here we can use the we align to align this aman at the bottom or at the top let's use that also i told you to align this in t 
ph tag so here we can align uh, sorry align as equals to bottom v align vertical align control s you can see aman is at the bottom similarly you can give the top also middle also and bottom also so i hope you understood the concept of call span and row span here we have given the call span because we have merged two columns and here we have merged two rows so that's why we have given the row span is equal to two so you can understand the code or i'll make this uh, visible for you in a single format so i'm uh, just uh, decreasing the size of the text so that you can understand so this is your complete code you can just have a look at this code and according to this we have created this table so i hope you all would be clear with the concept of cell spacing cell padding call span row span and you should try to make the tables like this you can take any example from any book or any uh, you can take the examples from internet and you can just try to create this kind of table because in boards you will get a question related to this in which uh, call span and row span would be required so if you have any doubt after this you can just ask me in a comment okay and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much once again happy ganesh chaturthi